حبيبي حلال حبيبي 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 حلال حبيبي My name is Hanifa Adam and welcome to Iftar with the Chef. So today we are going to be making a really controversial dish, jollof rice. We all know about the war between the different kind of jollof rice, Nigerian jollof or Ghanaian jollof, which one is better or which one is more superior or Senegal jollof, where it actually really did originate from. So today I'm going to be taking you through a quick way of how to make jollof rice very fast. This is a variation for the different kind of jollof rice that you can actually prepare. The major components of jollof rice is actually the rice and the tomato sauce that you're going to make it with. I'm going to be eating it with grilled chicken. The things I'm going to be using to make my jollof rice and grilled chicken are parboiled rice, I'm going to talk about that one later, chicken stock, I should have more than that, unsalted butter for the chicken, Ketchup, also for the kitchen, it's not going to go into the jollof rice, don't worry. Pepper, I have scotch bonnet, tomatoes, and big tatashi peppers. Onion, lemon, it's also for the chicken as well. Chicken breasts, onion, ginger, garlic, seasoning cubes, and salt. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to blend and make the sauce. I actually want to do some sort of food hack and you can also try that as well so I'm, I'm going to blend the peppers alone first with the garlic and ginger the garlic and ginger is just to have a really lovely taste to it you can add um, ground crayfish to the sauce while you're frying it or even to blend it together with the pepper and when you're also cooking it as well, when it's like almost done, you can add dried bay leaf to it. Always nice to add ginger and garlic to sauce or soup just to give it a really nice, lovely herb taste. Just to rinse it off a little bit. So I've taken a little bit of pepper from the ones I've blended because I would need it to prepare the sauce for my chicken. So I'm just going to add the remaining of tomato sauce ingredients and blend it all up. After blending it, what you need to do is put it on the fire on an open pot and make sure it gets dry to the point where most of the moisture from the tomato sauce is gone so that you can use it in frying your jollof rice now that i've made, prepared my tomato sauce i would like to marinate my chicken in the special sauce of spices and herbs and seasoning that i have prepared for it i'm going to get rid of this water and be right back stay with us now that I've filled up this bowl, I'm going to add the blended pepper, ketchup, two tablespoons is fine, a seasoning cube, salt, and mix it all up together. The ketchup is going to give the chicken a really nice, sweet, and savory taste. So what I'm going to do now, we've already cleaned the chicken breast. I'm just going to remove the skin. If you love the skin, you can actually leave it on. But I want it to have a really nice, smooth feel to it after I've grilled it. So I'm going to remove all that skin. Open it all up. Put in your prepared sauce. so that it can go in everywhere and be actually be nice cover it up and marinate it for a while after you've marinated it and you're ready to grill it you can actually pop it up in the grilling machine or your oven like this 
you can add a knob of butter put it on the chicken so that by the time it's in the grill it's just going to melt all over it and that is going to serve as the oil for the chicken and add your lemon and just grill it so i'm going to put in the granite oil for the jollof we're already grilling in the chicken now i'm going to talk about the parboiled rice that i'm going to be adding to the jollof while i'm frying the sauce so after putting the oil in i'm going to add onion and just let the onion fry while it gives the oil fragrance so for the parboiled rice you are going to put in one cup of rice into two cups of boiling water and just bring it to boil you would make sure the rice is not completely cooked and after it has softened and cooked for, cooked for a while you are going to rinse it out under cold water just to stop the cooking and introducing it into the jollof rice later so i'm frying in the oil now after frying in the oil i'm going to put in tomato sauce the one that i just blended i'm just going to put a lot of sauce in it and properly properly fry it in the oil so this is the point that you're going to put all the seasoning you're going to use in the jollof the bay leaves the powdered ginger or garlic i've already blended the fresh ones with my pepper so i don't need to put that one inside as well so i'm just going to use seasoning cubes my salt if you are using dried crayfish this is the point you put it in so we are just going to let it fry and cook for a while before we put in our chicken stock and the rice and wait for it to finish cooking. At this point as well, if you want the jello fries to be really red, you can add in tomato concentrated tomato paste. So I'm putting the chicken stock and then stir everything together you can taste it at this point just to adjust your seasoning so i'm just going to cover it up after adding the chicken stock and let it boil after it boils i'm going to introduce the parboiled rice and serve <laughs> Now that the water is boiled, as you can see it's boiling, I'm going to add in the parboiled rice. Because the rice is already cooked, all we need is for the water to dry up with the rice. So the rice just has to be an inch below the tomato and stock mixture this is the last time you have to stir everything together because if you stir at any point while it's cooking it might actually get burnt faster so i'm just going to cover this up and we'll give it about 15 minutes to let it cook and i'll check on the grilled chicken I really love the charred situation that is going on on the chicken right now and the pretty grill marks. I'm just going to cut up the chicken. The bone is still in it just so that I can get everything as much as possible. I'm actually used to cutting. and it's spicy 
Hey, and nice because we put fresh scotch bonnet on it. Now that the jollof rice are finished cooking, I'm just going to stir it up. There's a really pretty orange color to it. If you want it to be redder than this, although orange would be a more accurate term, you can add more concentrated tomato paste. So here we go. I'm going to add a tiny taste now just before I settle down for my star. Mmm, really steamy and hot, so I have to be patient a little bit. Okay. In my own books, this is my best jollof. I hope you enjoyed watching us. Have a wonderful iftar. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Habibi, 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 Habibi,